Hello, and welcome to this tech tip from Will. In this tech tip, I will be looking at the minimum and optional system requirements for Windows 10. Meeting these requirements will help ensure a successful installation of Windows 10 and will allow you to get the most out of the operating system. So let's get started. To install Windows 10, you need to ensure that the computer or device meets or exceeds the minimum hardware requirements for Windows 10. The first hardware requirement is the processor. Windows 10 requires a 1 GHz or faster CPU to run effectively. Windows 10 is available in both 32-bit and 64-bit architectures, and so both 32-bit and 64-bit processors can be used with Windows 10. Next is the RAM requirement. For 32-bit versions of Windows 10, you will require at least 1 GB of RAM memory, whereas 64-bit versions will require 2 GB of RAM. The next requirement to discuss is the hard disk space. 32-bit installs of Windows 10 require a minimum of 16 GB of free hard disk space. However, if you plan on installing the 64-bit version, you should up this to 20 GB of hard disk space. The next requirement is the graphics card. Windows 10 requires a graphics card that is compatible with DirectX 9 or later. DirectX 9 was originally released back in 2002, so the supermajority of modern graphics cards should support this. Furthermore, the graphics card will require a WDDM 1.0 or better driver. WDDM, or Windows Display Driver model, became the principal graphics card driver for Windows systems with the release of Windows Vista in 2006. So again, most modern graphics cards should support this by now. The final minimum requirement to look at is the monitor resolution. Microsoft insists on running Windows 10 on a monitor that supports a Super VGA resolution or higher. Super VGA is essentially a screen resolution of 800 by 600. The Super VGA standard was first developed back in the late 1980s, and as such, you would be hard pressed to find a display device that doesn't support this standard. This covers the minimum system requirements for Windows 10, but you should also know that there are some optional system requirements. Understand, the minimum system requirements that I have covered so far mean exactly that. They are the absolute minimum requirements needed to get Windows 10 installed onto a computer. However, there are certain features in Windows 10 that can only be used if you have the necessary hardware, software, or other requirements in place to support it. Let's have a look at some examples of these features. The first feature I will look at is Cortana. Cortana is a brand new feature for Windows 10 and is essentially a personal assistant. Cortana is designed to help the user accomplish tasks such as finding files, managing calendars, and setting reminders. At the time this video was recorded, Cortana is only available for Windows 10 in the United States, United Kingdom, China, France, Italy, Germany, and Spain. If you are using Windows 10 outside of these markets, Cortana will not be available to you, at least not at this time. When instructing Cortana to complete a task, the user must type the instructions in using a keyboard. However, Cortana is also intelligent enough to receive vocal instructions. That is, 
the user can instruct Cortana to complete a task simply by talking to Cortana. This will, of course, require a microphone to work. Another new feature to Windows 10 is Windows Hello. Windows Hello provides new ways for the user to sign into Windows 10 using biometrics, such as iris or fingerprint scanning, or facial recognition. Essentially, Windows Hello offers an alternative to using passwords. However, to use Windows Hello, your device will require special hardware, such as fingerprint or iris scanners, and special cameras for facial recognition. If your device does not include such hardware, you cannot use Windows Hello. The next feature is touchscreen. Just like its predecessors Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, Windows 10 is fully optimised for touch. In fact, most tasks that can be completed using a keyboard and mouse in Windows 10 can also be completed with touch. However, this will require hardware devices such as tablets or touchscreen monitors in order to work. If you do not have these devices, you will have to use a keyboard and mouse. Next, we have BitLocker. BitLocker first made its debut in Windows Vista and allows you to encrypt your computer's hard disk. However, to use BitLocker, your computer or device must have a special hardware chip called a TPM chip installed on the motherboard. BitLocker can be used with TPM 1.2 or TPM 2.0 chips. If your device does not have one of these chips, BitLocker can still be used, but will require a USB flash drive instead. The next feature is Client Hyper-V. Client Hyper-V first appeared in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Client Hyper-V is a feature that allows the user to build and run virtual machines on their Windows 10 computer. However, to use Client Hyper-V, you will need to meet a few hardware requirements. First of all, the feature is only available for 64-bit versions of Windows 10. Also, to use Client Hyper-V effectively, the user must ensure that their Windows 10 computer has an extra 2GB of RAM. Since 64-bit versions of Windows 10 require 2GB of RAM to simply install the operating system, if you plan to use Client Hyper-V, you should ensure that your device has at least 4GB of RAM. In addition, Client Hyper-V requires a processor that supports SLAT, or Second Level Address Translation. If your computer's processor does not support SLAT, you cannot use Client Hyper-V. The last feature I will look at in this video is Secure Logon. Secure Logon provides a more secure way to log on to a Windows computer. With Secure Logon, the user is required to press the Control alt delete key combination in order to access the logon screen. Of course, if you are using Windows 10 on a regular desktop or laptop computer with a keyboard, this is not a problem. If, however, you are running Windows 10 on a tablet that does not have a keyboard, this can cause some issues. To use Secure Logon on a tablet without a keyboard, the tablet must have certain buttons. That is, the tablet must have a power button and a Windows button. This is because, on tablets, the Secure Logon keystroke is invoked by pressing the Windows button and the power button at the same time. If your tablet does not have these buttons, nor a keyboard, you cannot use Secure Logon. This has been a quick look at the minimum and some of the optional requirements for installing and running Windows 10.
I hope you have enjoyed this video from us. For more videos, including more videos on Windows 10, please see our YouTube channel. And remember to subscribe to be notified of new videos when they are released. Many thanks, and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip.